forgot my intro. Dwayne the desert right at you. Yeah, I'm out here in the San Manego Hills again. Camping in my favorite spot over there. Below uh, Panquamito Road. Panquamito Hilltop. Yeah, you can check that out. It's like, uh, it's called Silent Walkabout. That's uh, Hilltop. But my destination is these other section of the San Manego Hills. I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to go that way or go that way. I know there's a Jeep road that goes up between them, but the rest of it is just going to be, you know, broadening through there. But I got a fence line across over here, a little cattle ranch fence line. And no, it's not private property, state trust land. But yeah, if you want to see what those uh, in those hills over there, come along with me. We'll go explore. That's a weird looking barrel cactus. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go check out this claim tank and this little rancher stock pond here over here. Does anybody know when these things are edible? When they're edible to eat? I know these are edible. But I've never had them before, but I'm not sure when they're supposed to be ripe to pick. But maybe somebody knows more about these than I do when you're supposed to be able to pick them and eat them. I've had the fruit off the, oh, I forget what they're called. They're like, I call them potato chip cactuses because they're flat. I've had that fruit, the big bulbs on there. They're just kind of, to me, they're just kind of blah taste and they just don't have no taste to them at all. But I was curious when. These are ripe. Yep. Go down this little wash and then I'm going to go over and check out this little stockade area over here and then we'll take the road back and start heading towards the hills over there. Hey, this is what you call a rancher stockade out here on state trust land. You can look, but don't touch. stockade I was uh, up there on top of the hill where I saw them they were ranchers were camping out here they had all their equipment sitting vehicles sitting here they had their horses in the in the stalls they're probably just doing the thing that's where they uh, had a little campfire here but yeah it's just a little stockade nothing much here Got a 
This one's well established out here. That's where they uh, ramp them onto the freaking trailers. Yeah, I'm not gonna go inside there. We're just gonna walk around it. That's all. And then I'm gonna start heading towards those hills over there. That's my goal is those hills. Hmm. A little stack of wood there. <laughs> What if he's got some uh, game cams out here just to take pictures of anybody out here? Because a lot of people drive through here is where the road goes through. Got a little solar panel over here. What if there's any water in here? Curious. Yeah, there's a little pump system out here. Oh yeah, there's some definitely water in here. Probably a solar panel is probably a well. I wouldn't doubt if it's a freaking well here. That's probably what it is. That's probably a well, and that's a pump, and it just runs. It just does. It does. It just keeps the trough filled up. Powered by solar energy. Got a little. And then it feeds out here. The valve they can open up. And it probably goes underground and feeds their little water trough over there for the. Fills them up. But. Yeah, enough looking around here. Ah. Up the side and get that way. I know there's a road that goes up through that area, that canyon. What I think I want to do is I want to head up through that canyon to where that hill is. And so I really want to do is explore that hill right there. So I'm going to head off in that direction. It's like he's got a big uh, water retainer palm out here that collects water. This is the road that I was talking about that goes through over here. It. <sighs> I'll go over here and see if there's anything in here. <sighs> Is that a roadrunner over there? Looks like one. It's up there behind that bush. You can see him. He might have went over already. Just missed them. This is where the cattle cattle path where they go up into here. Eh, bone dry figures. <laughs> yep, she's bone dry, and they dropped some hay off for him. Straw. All right. I'm gonna head that way. Yeah, 
I think I'm gonna have to go back up onto the plateau because the problem I have with this is uh, the cows can just go right through underneath this brush area and bust through it and yeah, I just get hung up on everything. Come over that first ridge over here. First ridge line over here. And that's where the canyon splits off. I could go that way, soak around, come back up this canyon, or I could go up that canyon that way. But I actually see a way up to the top of that hill if I want to. Go up to the top if I want. I see a way up there. I think I might do is go down in the drop in here and crawl up the top up there so I can get a good view of what's down the canyon. If I don't see anything of interest then maybe I'll hike back down that way and go around that way and just go around the hill or maybe I'll just go to the top up there. I don't know. pretty neat up through here. Yeah, I'm almost to that top of that little flat bar up here but you can see where I came from right through there yeah right through over there there's some little over in that hillside you see those little rocks over there's like little crevices in there probably don't go in very deep but I see where the Jeep trail is there's a that's the trail goes through on this side so I'm gonna keep making my way up there on top Looks like a little rock outcropping there I can take a break on. Give me a view over the other side. But we came from that way. You can see the two hills way over there in the pass between there. Just up around this side there, the little baby hill right out there before the big hill. That's where I'm parked on the other side over there. And keep going up this way and take a break. Take a little snack break here. You can see where I came through, right through there. Yeah, there's somebody parked over there. I can see their vehicle. I don't know if you can make it out on the camera, but there's somebody over. There. I can see them with my binoculars. They're still there. There's a there's an old Jeep trail that goes up through there, the other side. I think I'm gonna forgo on going through this canyon, but I am gonna go up to that. A little rock outcropping right up there just so I can see the other side but I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back down in this canyon and walk that way the side 
whether I want to go around or maybe I'll go up between those two hilltops passes maybe go to the top of one of them it'd be cool to go to the top way up there that'd be awesome nice view but other than that I'll probably go back down the other side walk out this canyon where the main wash is which is the wash I was in that was over by that old farm stock pond stock area but I'll just take that wash right back to where I'm camped there's a lot more to explore out here it's a big area and I'm gonna go up there so we kind of view and get up there eventually I'm just gonna head this way that's kind of neat in there I made it up to the base of that rock get a nice view out here sun right there All right. can't really get a view of the size of scope of this can't see it's this this that it's just the whole thing's crumbling apart there's a cow down there <laughs> first cow I've seen out here for a while my way up there and go around that way and up above get a good view up there but this is a nice view here it move Just make out the road right there. I came in on and I'm parked right over there at the base of that hill Just on the other side of that little little hill right there the big hill back there. I'm just parked right there Yeah, I came right up that way Get a nice view above that uh, drop off is right over there nice view out here eh, there's a top up there I see a way up just that way around the ridge line then go up through the thing and then you can probably get up from behind but no, at least I got a view of what's over in there. Let me walk over here. There we go. Get a view of what's out here. And there's that uh, pass I went up through last time. Somebody parked out there. I don't know if they're in their vehicle or what. Yeah. I think someday I'll do is uh, do a walk up that far ridge over there. That was that wash I hiked before when I did that uh, two canyons and, a, and something weird. I did two canyons and a pass and something weird. 
but yeah that's the wash way over there I mean, put my finger on camera I think I'll do is someday come out here and hike that wash come all the way around this hilltop and then come up through this canyon and go back the same way or maybe just go that way and back that way just make a big loop Eventually, I'm going to head down on that side. So, one more I do is probably make my way back down and go that way. It's already noon already. <sighs> I made my way from up there, right up there. Came down this way. Neck down into the wash now. There little jeep trails right over there, but as I got down here, I was looking up in the canyon, and I saw that. Now that's cool up there. See that? Little crevices. They probably don't go in. They're not caves. They're just crevices, wash out. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to come back out here again. See, I thought I was at the main hill. I was looking at a satellite. That's actually the main hill. That one up there, that's the highest point. <laughs> but, yeah. Gonna make my way over to that little Jeep trail. I think it'll be uh, easier walking. And just start making my way around that way. Now I'm back down here to the Jeep Trail. This road don't look pretty good. Looks pretty good. It's a nice little place to camp out. I don't like the idea of them shooting up trash and leaving it here though. Yeah. Good view of that crevice up there. I'm gonna go this way. Okay. I was on the other side of that. Came up this canyon. I ran into a nice young guy over there. He's he's clearing a path, some brush out of the way so he can drive through. Don't scratch his truck up. Yeah, he's out here quail hunting. Quad came through, but I think my route up to the pass is right there. I can see a path.
I'm glad I came in here. This is really cool. Yeah, I'll have to definitely do some more exploring up on top of these. I might be able to go up inside this canyon up in this way sometime. More rock features, not a lot. It's a nice little rock feature there. I got a rock wall of rock there. That's really cool. Alright. This is gonna run up that way and up that way. Looks like the easiest route up. Well, those uh, pack rats been busy. Yeah, the so pack rats grab all those uh, cholo balls and cholo stuff and put them up around their things. Keeps the uh, keeps the varmints and stuff like that, snakes from getting in there, getting to them. <sighs> A little ledge up there. I don't know how far it goes. Maybe I'll try extend the camera up and hold it up. Maybe get a view of it. At least you guys be able to see it. Ooh. They're circling. Maybe they're hoping for a meal. Not. Comes around this way. Yeah. The precarious perchment of that rock. <laughs> I mean that cactus with the, right there with the rock. That's cool. All right, I just made my way up along there. Came up here, and then up the pass, and then come up back up here. But I didn't even see that one until I got up here. But that would have been a good lookout to go up and scout. Now there's another one up there too. I can scout out, but I came up here to this one. Oh yeah, I can definitely get up through that pass and go on the other side. You know that? Down there in the wash, I didn't even see it, walked right by it, and just totally missed it. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm almost tempted. <laughs> yeah, there's where that trail goes. I can't believe that guy drove that truck up here. Yeah, you definitely need four-wheel drive. It goes all the way around, it's where those other people were. It goes around the other side here. Everybody remembers that one. Everybody looks. That's Silver Bell Mountains. Right there. And that was the canyon I was going up into. Right there, that was the canyon I was going up to. I came up that way pretty easy yeah all these hilltops are pretty easy to get to I, I see ways up but 
as I say, that's I didn't want to go all the way around there because then I have to I'd have to climb up over that pass. But I think I'm just gonna head down this way and go that way. But yeah, it's almost two o'clock already. Oh, I was almost tempted, but you know, I come out here again because I think going up on top of those hills and looking down the other side would be cool. I just love to get up there and just to. Uh, Hang out up there. All right, I'm gonna start down into this canyon and start heading back. This video is almost coming to a close here. There you can see the snow on Mount Lemon. That was fun. It wasn't that bad. It was a little rocky coming up through that section there. That's why I came down that way and then I just walked along the ridge to get over in this area that's like this. A little bit easier walking. But yeah, I'm pretty much down in the canyon now. Just make my way that way. Follow the base of, base of the canyon. Yeah, I probably won't be going up in any more ridges. It's a, uh, what is it? Yeah, it's only quarter to two it's not that late by the time i'm running my way through there back out to that road that i was on that goes that way which eventually goes around make my way that way follow that wash yeah i'd say a couple hours i'll be back at my campsite should be here in a couple hours but i'm not gonna end the video yet because you never know i might come across something interesting there's a lot of little hilltops I want to get up on top of. You know, this almost looks like there's be an old jeep road going up here because the way it's flat and I, I see somewhat a rutting in it going that way and going this way All right, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, pretty much made my way down through that canyon up through there. Going up this way. Yeah, it's pretty much all flat terrain out here. It was the canyon I came down through was over there. I'm sure I'm not pointing at it right, but I'm sure you get the idea. I came up over that pass right there. Went up that canyon. After I went up the top of that hill up there. Way up there, but... Maybe I'll go back around. Yeah, it's gonna be nothing more than me hiking back down that way, straight over to the hillside, which is where I'm camped. And I'm sure I'll be running across that road that goes through here. There's a road, that Jeep trail that I was on, that, was, that guy was on. I don't know if he's uh, made it through or not. I wouldn't be able to hear his vehicle anyways. It's pretty quiet, but. Unless I find something interesting, I'll be back out here. There's a lot to, a lot of walking. I still got to go around the other side of these hills over here. If you can see them. Yeah, I still want to go around the other side of those hills. Guy says that, the guy told me there's an, over on the other side of these hills, there's another stock tank 
is fed by a spring with a solar pump and stuff so that's a good thing though about that because I can get water I come out here run out of water I got places to get, get water but yeah it's so a Dwayne the Desert Rat signing off don't forget to like subscribe if you made it this far hope you like what you see got a lot more a lot more to do out here now I got a camp camp to go do. Probably have a video on that camping out. I got some steaks on the coals to cook. Mm. Can't wait. Probably about I'd say no more than two hours. I don't look. It looks further than what it is. That hilltop over there, but yeah, I'd say in about two hours I'll be back at my campsite. I'm going to sign off here.